What's up guys, I usually don't do these kinds of videos, however with me just being a massive fan of Mario Kart, I think it's necessary for me to talk about this. So you all know by now, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is getting DLC. Over the following one and a half years, the so-called Booster Course Pass is going to add 48 retro tracks to Mario Kart 8. And while to many people this might sound exciting because we haven't gotten any DLC content for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe yet, to me it's really quite the opposite. And you might be wondering, why having 48 new retro tracks for just 25 euros is a steal? But we are going to find out that these tracks are neither new nor cheap. But first off, let's talk about the Mario Kart series as a whole. Long story short, we haven't gotten a new Mario Kart game in 8 years. Let me clarify how insane that amount of time actually is. 8 years ago Barack Obama was the US president, Germany won the football world cup and Crimea was still part of Ukraine. It's even crazier compared to all the other Mario Kart games. Before Mario Kart 8 we get a new Mario Kart about every 3 years. There was Mario Kart DS in 2005. Mario Kart Wii in 2008, Mario Kart 7 in 2011 and of course Mario Kart 8 itself in 2014. And with the Nintendo Switch coming out in 2017, it looked like we were gonna get another Mario Kart game very soon. But instead we got Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, a straight up port from Mario Kart 8 that basically only added a battle mode and the double items which by the way I find to be even worse than the single items. After that we only got Mario Kart Arcade GP VR, which is basically just a tourist attraction, Mario Kart Live Home Circuit, which is a toy, and Mario Kart Tour, which is also far from being a mainline Mario Kart game. And now with the DLC for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, it's very likely that we won't get a new Mario Kart game until the next console releases. This most likely means that at the time the next Mario Kart game releases, Mario Kart 8 will have celebrated its 10th anniversary, and that is just incredibly disappointing to see. But I mean, hey, we're getting new content for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, right? Well, the simple answer is no. You see, when I saw the retro tracks coming to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, something was off. The visuals. Now let me clarify, I don't have a problem with the visuals. If I had a problem with visuals, I probably wouldn't be playing Mario Kart Wii to this day. The problem here is, all the tracks just look exactly like in Mario Kart Tour. And you wanna know why? Well that's because all the tracks here are straight up ported from Mario Kart Tour. Paris Promenade, Tokyo Blur and Ninja Hideaway are literal Mario Kart Tour tracks, N64 Choco Mountain and 3DS Toad Circuit are retro tracks in Mario Kart Tour, GBA Sky Garden is going to be released in Mario Kart Tour very soon and looks exactly like the version in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, and Coconut Mall has been found in Mario Kart Tour's game files. This leaves DS Shroom Ridge as the only track that is not confirmed to be directly ported from Mario Kart Tour. But with all the other tracks being ported directly from that game, it should be a no-brainer that DS Shroom Ridge is probably also gonna get added to Mario Kart Tour very soon. What I'm trying to say here is that the content we're getting from Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is not new content. It is straight up just ported tracks. Not convinced yet? Well imagine if Nintendo released a port of The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword on the Nintendo Switch that basically changes nothing about the original game and they want $60 for it. Everyone would just be so mad. Like just imagine if that actually happened. Wait, what was that? It did happen? And this situation just shows how baffling the logic of Nintendo's fanbase is. The people who complained about Skyward Sword HD are literally the same people who are praising the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe DLC, despite the fact that both of them are just ports. And that is just my main point here, I want a new Mario Kart game, I don't want ports, I don't need those, I want new tracks, new controls, new game modes and loads of other new things. Because we haven't gotten those in nearly a decade. And yeah, that basically concludes everything that I wanted to say about this. Let me know your opinion on the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe DLC in the comments down below, but please do so in a respectful manner. I hope you're having a wonderful day and enjoy Wario on drugs.